Here's your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lexi Walker. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. The triple digits do continue here as we head into the next several days. The next 72 hours is still going to be hot in that typical pattern that we've been settled in for nearly two weeks now. But some good news changes are on the way. Not only are we looking at cooler temperatures, but we're also looking at an increase in our rain chances as well. We are going to drop from 104 on your Independence Day down to 94 respectively for Friday and Saturday. But this mid 90s range that is going to follow that frontal passage is actually close to our average where we should be for this time of year. Let's go ahead and talk about rain now because we're going to hold off on most precipitation as we head into your midday on the 4th of July. Then rain showers move in from north or from the north and shift further south, continuing to be off and on not only for Thursday night, but also from Friday, Saturday, Sunday and into Monday of next week. And we're talking some rainfall for almost everybody. Your totals not that impressive. I mean, we're talking an inch at most, but again, that's up to Monday and more additional rain does look to be appear likely past that seven day forecast. But we're dry and quiet right now. Skies, they are mostly clear as you're heading out the door. And this is a look at our Comanche Nation Entertainment Tower Camp in Medicine Park Aquarium. As the day goes on, Lots of sunshine on tap will quickly warm to that 103 degrees by 3 p.m. today. Seeing those southwesterly winds sustained at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts are going to be higher and that's going to also contribute to some fire danger concerns, which we'll hold on to as we head into the 4th of July. But once that front moves in, we do drop off our morning temperatures down into the upper 60s. And it's been quite some time since we've seen morning temperatures that cool.